What's going on guys? D here. And today, as you can see, we are opening up the Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, this has been out for a little while, but I haven't had a, really had a chance to uh, get at it. Uh, you know, I was busy with other stuff. But luckily for me, I am on vacation this week. And it's also my birthday week. So I'm kicking it off in style. At least I think. I'm super pumped to open that. And I apologize if you can hear any knocking or sounds. I have no idea what the heck is going on. They've been at it all week. But yes, here we go. Um, yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to use this lucky Lugia pin. Hopefully. Actually, I don't know if I've used it enough for it to gain any luck. And I'm going to crack it, uh, open this bad boy. Um, so, yeah. Um, how has everyone else's pulls in Scarlet Violet 151 been? Uh, I've only opened up a, a, a ETB myself, so I haven't gotten my hands on that many packs. I'm hoping maybe if I run to the store at some point this week, maybe I can find some more 151 stuff to open. Because, I mean, I want to open it, but it's just... You can't... You just can't find it. At least I can't find it. Okay. Again, sorry about the knocking. I literally have no idea what's going on. It's, apparently it's been happening all week. And, uh, it's like, what takes more than a week to do? I shouldn't say that. But, anyway, so we took that off, and then we have this nice box. Let me just see. I have no idea how to open this thing. Well, here we go. All right. Man, this is way nicer than the Charizard one. No offense the Charizard one, but let's, how do I get this thing open here? Wow, this is super nice. Super nice. Oh, is it? It's like a little mini display. Oh, look at that. I guess you can fold this out, I guess, and then, I mean, it kind of cuts off. I think these two are a little too up, I think. They're supposed to be down here. That's kind of neat. Uh, oh, that's a metal card. Are they all metal? They might be. All right, how do I get these bad boys out of here? Oh, just like that. No, that's not a metal card. I'm just dumb. Don't mind me, everybody. I'm just a little dumb. And this bad boy. Can I just... How do I get this out of here? Um, so has anyone else opened this Ultra Premium Collection? Um, if so, let me know how your pulls went. Um, personally, I'm not expecting a ton. However, the, the art rares on Yeah, the art rares on this set are really, really nice. Hoping to pull a bunch today. And this metal gold Mew EX is very nice. It's actually my first metal card. Don't have, haven't had one before. And then we have the Mewtwo. Ooh. Super nice. I'll take it out of the plastic in a minute, maybe later. Because it took me so long to get, to get these out of the box. And then the Mew EX. Very nice. So cool. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll open these guys up in a minute. Put them at the back for now. Put this Mew. I may have to display this Mew out too. It's so cool. All right, back into the box. We have the uh, deck box. Some pink dice, some damage or some status indicators, and a coin. So those are super nice, and 
Let's put those down off to the side. And then we have a play mat. This box is really nice too. Uh, it's a Mew play mat. I think I'll try to unravel that later. And then we have glorious, glorious packs. I hope there's a million, but there isn't. And we got a nice end inside the box there. Definitely gonna try to keep this box because it's super nice. Well, I have my Charizard one too, but I don't use it for anything. Ooh, I don't know about anyone else, but those those mats always give these mats just give me the the heebie-jeebies. All right, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 packs. That's what we're supposed to have, right? It is. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into, let's get into this. Um, so yeah, we get some art rares. I am definitely putting together a 151 collection, a little binder, something. Yeah, I don't know. These cards are just so, so good. So good. And I hope, I truly hope that all 151 Pokemon, the original 151, are in here. Just because like, it seems like it would be a missed opportunity. I mean, I can just look at the set, but, you know. Polyrath. Dragon Knight, very cool. Code card. So, that's nice. And it's also fun that they're actually putting, um, like they're kind of combining the base set and base set two and jungle and all that stuff. It always kind of uh, boggles my mind that, uh, what you call it, the original set never didn't release with the full the full roster and it's like wow they were really banking on the fact that um, they would sell more more sets what happens if it would flopped you didn't even get all your your Pokemon out there we got Goldeen Weedle looking happy and a Mr. Mime Mr. Mime code card. So yeah, I'm not even going to bother to separate these into hollows and reverse hollows or anything. They're all going in their own binder. Um, curious to see how after an ETB and an ultra premium collection, how, how complete it will be. Not getting my hopes too, too up, but you know, you never know. I'm hoping for some good, good completion. No, I don't even need like all the reverse hollows or anything. Just, just I want, you know, zero zero one all the way to one fifty one. That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, Ivy Sword. There we go. Parasect. The Helix Fossil going into an Arbok EX. Cool. Very cool. Code card. So. So that was about three packs. Judging by the, the codes at my feet. By my feet, I mean right beside my, my arms. Uh, so yeah, it's been a bit, but you know, just busy getting ready for my vacation. And that Porygon artwork is very nostalgic. And this Electabuzz is sick. I don't can't remember if I've seen it before, but Electabuzz is just one of my favorite original Pokemon. Electivire is cool too, but I like Electivire more. Tentacruel, Star You, Vaporeon Reverse. I've pulled the Hollow, and I only know that because it's on top of my Hollow pile. And we have Chansey. 
Super, super cute, Chansey. And, oh, no, I just remembered, no hollow energies yet. I'm hoping, I'm kind of hoping that they don't count those as hits and they just kind of throw them in at random. Because, I mean, they're nice. And I guess I, I've had, oh my gosh, I have seen some ones that have really nice swirl on them. But, um, yeah, I don't want them to take away from, like, actual big hitters just because they seem to be a bit more common than, um, um, you know, anything else. Or the other hits, anyway. Oh, we got the Dome Fossil. We got the Omanite and Kabuto ready to play. Ready to play. Slowbro. Machoke. Oop. Skipping Dugong. Venomoth. Energy Sticker. And. Electrode. Oh, and there's a Hollow Energy. And Fire. I don't know if I have Fire. And can we see any swirls? I think there's one right below my thumb. And that's cool. Nice. Okay, first hollow energy of the box. How many will we get? Let me know down below how many energies you think I will pull. Ooh, I can tell I'm a bit rusty. I'm a bit rusty on these packs, but that's quite all right. Hitmon Lee, looking cool. War Turtle, Hypno, Squirtle, Ekans, and we got a Marowak. Marowak Hollow. Yeah, very nice. Whoops. Throwing everything around here. Okay. We're on pack number uh, seven here. Oh gosh, let's not uh, destroy my desk. I know I'm excited, but I uh, should need to calm down just a little bit. Okay, Voltorb, that's a cool artwork. Hitmonchan, Sea King, Butterfree, Onyx, Sea King, and Vaporeon Hollow, okay. And regular energy. All right, pack number eight. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, as I said, this is I, I have I'm on vacation this week because it is the week of my birthday. So I am planning to open up something else on my actual birthday, and I think it's going to be a Paldea Evolved booster box. I have one sitting by my desk here that I've been wanting to open. So that is most likely my plan. And I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna try to go out one day to see if there's anything at like Walmart or something that I can just quickly pick up. Cause I think that would be kind of neat. Dugong, slow bro into Jolteon, and a Hollow Energy, and it's a Dark Energy. Can't see any swirls. I don't see any. Not even looking at the card and not through the camera. No swirls, but that's okay. I saw one with a really nice swirl posted on Reddit, I think. Um, and and then like a super, like a fully complete swirl in a good, in a good place. Can't get much better than that. Um, all right, let's start off. Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Doduo. Scyther, Parasect, Charmeleon, very nice, Geodude, Kabuto, Omastar, Code. So yep, very very curious to see how much of a, how, how many can, can you get, get let, let's answer the question, can you get all 151 Pokemon to make a binder set from opening one ETB and one Ultra Premium Collection? That is the question. 
Goldine, Tauros, Kadabra, Ivysaur again, very nice. I need just I need some Bulbasaur and um, Venusaur action. Nidoran Mayo, Blastoise. We've pulled you already, but can't complain because it's still cool. Still cool, Blastoise EX. Pack number, I don't know, I can't do math right now. Can't do math. Shouldn't have to do math, I'm on vacation. Okay, Tentacool, Rattata, Squirtle, looking cute, lick a tongue. Come on, Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Where's my Bulbasaur? Oh my. Oh my gosh, wow. Whoa. Um, wait, hang on. Let me pull up my handy dandy. Where's my, where's the guide? Where does it tell me the rarities? Is it this page? It is. Uh, special illustration rare. Zapdos EX, my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, that is crazy. Hello, Gengar. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Code card, and then, wow. I will put that one at the back, because that one's special. That is one of the cooler ones, I will say, because it's got the three legendary birds in it. My goodness. Well, that was certainly a, a pack to remember. Not a lot of illustration rares, or the, um, whatever that line is called. That's kind of disappointing, because those are so cool. Um, Slowbro, Machoke, Dugong, Rahorn. Oh, speak of the devil. War Turtle illustration rare, super cool. And a wheezing hollow coat. Ask and you shall receive, I guess. Okay, let's hope for a few more. Those are awesome. Look at that guy in the background, just swimming away. And I believe that's an illustration rare. Let's see here. Uh, is it a single gold star? I think so. Illustration rare. See, I'm not opening enough packs because I, I don't know the new terminology yet. Just have to open more. Alright. Venonat. Pidgey. And I, I've heard some, well, I've seen some stuff saying that the Pidgey. Pidgey's getting a lot of love recently. There's a new product. Um, releasing, I think it's in Japan, it's like a deck box thing, and or a deck collection, and Pidgey is featured in all of the promos, and that's uh, interesting. Oh, we got another shiny energy. Oh my gosh, look at, I see at least, at least three swirls, I think. There's one, one right there, uh, one right there. It's kind of one at the top. There's, I think, yeah, kind of maybe. Yeah, there's one to the right, bottom right. Maybe one in the top corner that's kind of cut off. Wow, that's a good one. That's a great one. All right, I guess I've just actually just realized putting all the cards in one pile kind of limits my ability to give a recap at the end, but I guess that's the power of video editing here. You just edit. Edit the dead space. Okay, Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Doduo, Hitmonchan, Sea King, Butterfree, Dragonair Reverse Hollow, very nice. Cubone Reverse Hollow into Kabutops, very nice. Okay. All right, last two packs. Last two 
last two packs. Come on, let's get some... Another illustration rare. That's what we need. Another illustration rare. We got Pikachu. Farfetch. Shelter. Ductrio. Clefable. Tentacruel. Lapras. Spiro. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Code card. Yes, my boy Venusaur, full art. Let's go. So nice. Goes with the Charizard I pulled. Now I just need the Blastoise to complete the trio. Very nice. I would have I would have also taken the special special version of it, but I will take it because that is a beautiful card. I know I said I'm gonna go make a 151 binder collection thing, but I think that Venusaur has to go with the, my other Venusaur collection that I have. Rattata. Squirtle. Come on, Bulbasaur, please. Bulbasaur, please. Cycling Road. Scyther. Is this Bulbasaur? Kakuna. Uh, Gyarados, not bad. And we end it off on a Nidoking. And a Sparkly Energy. And there's a code card. And let's see, we got one Swirl on the bottom, one kind of up top right. And a nice print line there, but that is that. All right. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a moment for you, it will be no time at all, and I will get you guys a quick summary. Alright guys, so to summarize, in summary, here is all the pulls from this box. Oop, let me just throw these boys at the back. So we pulled an Arbok EX, Sparkly Fire Energy, Sparkly Dark Energy, Blastoise EX, Sparkly Electric Energy, Sparkly Electric Energy, Venusaur EX, probably my, f maybe my favorite pull of the day, I'm not sure, because we also pulled this War Turtle Illustration Rare, and then we also pulled this Zapdos EX Special. Illustration rare, very nice. And then obviously the promos that come with the box, the Mew EX and the Mew 2, looking over his city, as well as the uh, the Metal Mew card, which I didn't want to just put in with the other cards because I didn't want them to get damaged. So yeah, um, that has been the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. If not, tell me everything I did wrong whether I open the packs too, too slowly or whatever. Oh, and bonus to anyone who stuck around to the end, here is the uh, code for the Ultra Premium Collection. So, uh, the guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be back later this week, hopefully, with some more opening stuff. Most likely doing a Paldea Evolved Booster Box. So, until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.